Hello my fiery friends, the Inferno Man here with the hottest in budget deck technology. And for today's deck tech, once again, you know what time it is. It is time for the midweek magic event, and it looks like we're going to be playing, okay, on the edge. So in other words, we need to bring a 60 card deck using only cards from Lost Caverns of Ixalan, Karlov Manor, or Thunder Junction. And thankfully for us, we actually have one deck that is hilariously fun to play, and it's super duper cheap. It's honestly more of a meme than anything else. Dude! Keep talking. But if you're a fan of that, join me today as we play in the Midweek Magic event, because it is now slime time. But before we continue, if you do like any of the content that I do, please like, follow, and subscribe wherever you watch the content so you don't miss out on any of the gameplay, booster pack openings, deck decks, and so much more. Long time viewers of the channel know how we do it, we have to talk about the stats of the deck before we dive right into it. So slime time is as simple as can be. That means we only need mono green, and we only need 8 creatures in the deck, and the rest of it is just 28 sorceries and only 24 lands. Okay everybody, so hear me out. This deck, is it a gimmick? Yes. And you may be asking yourself now, May I see it? To which I will say, yes, I will gladly show you how this deck works, despite the fact that it looks really, really janky with a simple-minded game plan. So all you're just trying to do is basically cast as many Slime Against Humanity cards as possible. So before I even explain how that works, let's actually talk about this highlighted card that you have 24 copies of in the deck. So I know, I know, it's really goofy, but again, if you haven't actually tried this out, you definitely should because it's hilariously fun when it does go off. But in any case, Slime Against Humanity is a sorcery that's three mana, and it simply states you create a 0-0 green ooze creature token with Trample. You put X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is two plus the number total number of cards you own in exile and in your graveyard that are oozes or named Slime Against Humanity. And a deck, of course, for obvious reasons, can have any number of cards named Slime Against Humanity, which is why we're stacking 24 copies in the deck. With that, we will need to try to see if we can mill a couple of them just to get more value out of it. So working our way backwards here from the same set of Markov Manor, or is it Karlov Manor? I can't remember anymore. Both of them kind of confuse me. This two mana 1-3 Elf Detective just simply reads when it enters the battlefield, you get to mill three cards. And for four mana, you can sacrifice it and return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. We don't really care about that secondary ability. All we're just simply trying to do is, again, help do some milling to get more value out of Slime Against Humanity. And our only other one-drop creature is going to be the Human Detective Rebel Belt Maverick. So this 1-1 one, one Human Detective allows you to surveil two when it enters a battlefield. For one mana, you can also exile it from your graveyard and put a plus one plus one counter on a target creature. However, you can only activate it as a sorcery. So all we just need to do is just these simple little creature cards just encourage us to then mill more copies of this card so that way we get more oozes, more powerful, and much more faster. With that, we only have one other card that's actually part of the deck, and it's going to be Hard Hitting Question. This is going to be your basic removal. I mean, the only other thing we have is just 24 Forest, so I'm really going to just try to drag this out. Let's get right to the point of, again, how you can get the most out of this simple but effective deck. Now, as far as strategy goes for this kind of deck and how to pilot it, here's going to be what we're just going to be really direct with. This is, of course, a meme deck. Simply put, I really don't really have anything else to say because that's why we're running 24 copies of Slime Against Humanity. Of course, in the early game, if you're one and two drops, your Rebel Belt Maverick and your Aftermath Analyst, all they're simply trying to do is just mill extra copies. So when you get to your turn three, you should already have a fairly large slime that will then hopefully be big enough where your opponent is going to have a hard time dealing with that. Of course, the only other final tip I want to give is make sure to save up those hard hitting questions. So if you do have at least one or two troublesome creatures that maybe your slimes just can't deal with, once you do have a copy of that and you can get the coast clear, just make sure to keep smashing those slimes as fast as you can this is not really a deck that you have to think too hard about it's just again get your slimes out make sure that you can start doing some damage against your opponent if you have to chump block here and there that's fine either way you'll eventually get your wins sooner or later with how silly this deck is the biggest advantage that you have with this deck is even if it is a gimmicky deck, your opponents can counterspell you, they can discard your cards, they can make you even exile your graveyard, and no matter what, your slimes, as you keep getting more and more ooze tokens on the battlefield, will keep getting bigger, and progressively so, because no matter what they do, they'll just get run over. However, there is one big caveat to this deck. Despite how goofy it is, and despite how the fact that it can be pretty resilient against all kinds of removal, you really don't have much of a strategy against go wide and also hyper aggro decks. So if your opponent can get out and under you faster than you can create your slimes, you will probably lose these matches. But again, this is a fun meme deck just to get you your wins in midweek magic. Also, it should come as no surprise that I'm not planning on doing any kind of sideboarding for this because again, it's meant to be a gimmick deck. You really should be playing this in best of one. 
if you play this in best of three, there's not really anything you can really add to the deck. So I'm going to do this right now and just simply say, keep it as is. Don't change anything. Don't even bother trying to looking at upgrading this. Instead, if you are interested and you want to see me maybe play something gimmicky like this in a different format, then be sure to leave a comment below because I would love to hear what you might be interested in if you do want to see us maybe play some kind of ooze deck for, oh, I don't know, maybe explore or maybe even brawl because I have some ideas that maybe we can play with. But again, if you want to see that, leave a comment below and I would love to hear from you. Otherwise, my only final thoughts I just want to give the deck is again, this is hilariously fun for what it is. It's not meant to be anything serious. And for this midweek magic event, this is the kind of perfect that you can play with that really will not require you to invest much of anything if you just want to get your wins and just move them on about your day. So to put it another way, if you are a fan of beam decks, if you are a fan of super ultra budget decks that will not require you to spend much of anything to get them going, if you're a fan of just playing something that's completely off the beaten path that maybe could throw your opponent off for a loop, definitely give this deck a try. And I assure you, whether you want to play this in Midweek Magic, or even if you want to be daring enough to play this in Standard, you'll have a lot of fun doing so. You actually might get a couple of wins along the way, and when you manage to do that, I assure you, you'll definitely not be disappointed. That's all I have for you today. Thanks again for watching, everyone. And just remember that no matter what you do play in the game of life, always be sure to burn bright. Later!